We're going to start at the very beginning, which is the Hello World program. So this is inside that first lab assignment. It's the textbook. You click on this Hello World section 1.3. It'll get you to right to here. And we're going to examine these five lines of code right here and see what they all do. And hopefully that will help you uh, accomplish your first lab. So I'm going to copy everything into here. And this needs to be inside of a class called Hello. So now we're going to go over to NetBeans here. And we're going to go File, New Project. Got to have Java with ANT, Java Application. Project name, we're going to call it Hello. I'm going to put it right in the regular documents, NetBeans projects, and then everything else is just default. So this should give you an outline of code. There's a whole lot more here than you need. All this gray stuff is comments. For now, I'm going to delete all the comments. So we have five total lines here. Now I'm going to bring back the hello world in here. Now there's one line missing, which is the package name. There's no package listed above public class hello. So again, I copied all this already. We're going to go back to NetBeans. What I had highlighted is going to replace everything that I have highlighted here. And what's left out is the package. And that's important in NetBeans that you leave that package in there. So I'm going to delete what was in there and paste what I copied out of the textbook. And then we're going to go ahead and hit run. And this needs to print out hello comma world exclamation point. And that comes from this line number seven right here. If you hold down alt and scroll, unless you make the text bigger. So we're going to examine this line by line. I also do not need any of this gray uh, these grayed lines, which and here is line number six. We can take that out. So we'll start at the top. Package just says what package you're in. It's a way of organizing several Java files. We're not going to have several Java files for a little while. So our package will just be the same name as the, uh, the class. So our first, uh, our next line is line three. Public class. We'll explain that later. Uh, hello is the name of this class, and it's really important that you pay attention to this open curly brace or a left brace. Now I highlighted it, it automatically highlighted the matching brace down here. You can also see that happening because in the indent here, there's no indent before this word public. There is an indent before this word public, and it's right there, I highlighted it. And if you look, you have an indent, and there's another indent here, and another indent here. And what that tells you is all these lines right here are in one block. And that's super important. That's how programs, uh, the structure of programs, uh, make sense. So this public class hello starts here, and it ends here. There's one block inside, and most blocks NetBeans lets you collapse the blocks or collapse the blocks down to one single line, and it just tells you, hey, there's four lines hiding in here. So I'll open that back up. You can put a little bit more space. You can always put more space in. I'm going to take this uh, blank line out. All right, let's look at the next block and public static void main. Uh, this is a method. Uh, you do have to have all of this inside of it right here. And this line ends with a curly brace as well. And this is a left curly brace, meaning that there needs to be a right curly brace that matches it. And it's already highlighted for us. And what's inside the next block, so this starts a block here, ends a block on line seven, which means line six is inside the block. And if you look, that has one extra tab to the right. And in here, this line of code, this is an actual statement, meaning it, it does something as opposed to being more organizational. And this one prints out hello world. Now, if I want a second print message, I can definitely do that. Uh, one way to do it, you can highlight the whole thing, copy, control C, 
And if you're wondering where these are coming from, they're in the edit menu. Control C is copy, paste, Control V. There's lots of other commands up there you can check out. And now I'm going to run this again. So it should produce two lines of output. It's not very exciting because they're both the same. So I could just say goodbye world and run this again. And you'll see hello world, goodbye world. All right, as your code starts to get a little more complicated, your first lab has four print statements that need to make it inside. You can just paste, paste, and edit what's inside the double quotes. That's called a string. Uh, I'm going to intentionally cause an error. All of your statements need to end with a, a semicolon or a curly brace. And of course, if you end in a curly brace, you need to have the matching curly brace somewhere later on. So there's a problem right here. Sometimes if you mouse over the error, it gives you a very good description about what's wrong. There's a semicolon expected. And where does the semicolon go? Well, right where I deleted it from. Uh, likewise, if I delete uh, parenthesis, it's going to tell you. Sometimes it's very, very useful. It says right parenthesis expected. So we'll drop that in. And same thing if I delete. Now, if I delete the quote, the string, if you look, it's kind of this orange brown, doesn't actually end. And now it says unclose string literal, meaning you started a string and did not end a string. You could quote at the end, but if you look, that means that these two things that should be outside or to the right of the string are now inside the string. So I have to now match the parentheses, which just happened right there. If I put an extra parenthesis in, it's right there red in your face. It doesn't match anything. And now I also need the uh, semicolon, and I could run this again. And you'll see that the uh, parenthesis and the semicolon made it into the print statement. You can, of course, change the content of these print statements, absolutely. Uh, there's another way, well, there's a million ways to make your program not run, but I'm going to delete the closing brace here. And now it says there's a problem down here, and the error said reach end of file while parsing. And what that means is, while, when it got to the end of your file, it's found something unexpected. So I was expecting to see two right braces down here. So let's go ahead and put two right braces in. This is not a very good way to do it in terms of uh, they should each be on their own line and one of them should be indented more. So there is a way to fix this automatically. This will run right now and produce the same exact output. But what I want to do is get it back uh, so each brace is on their own line and the tabs are correct. So we're going to go to Source and Format. You can also push Alt-Shift-F. And again, what that did is it put my closing brace here by itself to close that brace. And then down on the next line, one less indent, it closed the brace up at the top. And again, if we're looking at indenting, this right here is indented uh, it's not indented or indented with zero spaces. This one is indented with four spaces. And then, of course, you can see very clearly that these four print statements are all indented with eight spaces or two levels. And because they're indented two levels in, what that means is they're inside of one, two blocks, two nested blocks. So hopefully that uh, explanation of structure is going to help you lay this out better. Uh, your lab, the original text for your lab, is uh, intentionally garbled so that you have to figure out little issues. Uh, like, for example, changing the order of these right here, you have to close. You have an opening parenthesis that needs to match, and it's telling you right here, if you highlight it, that the right parenthesis is expected. You do that. Uh, and then you need a semicolon to finish that line. So every line you have should end uh, with either a semicolon for statements or uh, beginning a block is a left brace, ending a block is a right brace, and again, beginning a block is a left brace, ending a block is a right brace. 
Make sure you submit your labs. They actually run the last time around. So make sure this is the output you actually want me to grade. And then you can uh, zip it and submit it like I showed in the other videos.